when I was a child, they sensed that there was something wrong because they could hear this strong noise coming from my chest. I just was very, very weak. I couldn't do anything like other children, and they used to go out and play hopscotch and jump rope and all that, and I used to watch them from the window. I remember my mother bringing me here in the streetcar, and I remember sitting in the benches, the big long benches, and then they'd call my number, which was number 99, and then I'd go in and they would examine me and listen to my heart, and Dr. Gross was telling her about this operation. He did the operation when Dr. Ladd was out of town. Right. Because he was certain that Dr. Ladd would have forbidden him to, uh, to do that. There was the risk, of the, the risk of going in and operating near the heart, which was unheard of at that time. And there was also the significant risk of anesthesia. Although it had been discussed, and bantered about, no one had the courage to, uh, to, to move ahead and do it. I remember the day of the operation in the operating room and I looked up and it was all these men looking down, there was students. And I remember the nurses and the anesthesiologist. And then the next thing, you know, uh, when I woke up I was in a crib. Dr. Gross said to me, Lorraine, you know, if you didn't survive, I'd end up as a chicken farmer in Vermont. And I said, well, doctor, I said, thank God I came from good Irish stock. My family used to say, they must have put a couple more than one hat. And she never stops, she hasn't stopped running since.